I agree, this is a really weird object. And it it's the product of a cloth simulation. So the cloth doesn't tear, but it just falls into pieces, so to say, or into polygon pieces. It looks really dramatic. And here you see a spring operation, which doesn't work anymore. It leads into the nothingness here. And actually it was all started with this collision object. This is a collider here. And uh, a cloth which is just a harmlessly looking polygon disk initially. Actually we could render this. Let's create an, a sky dome light and render the view. So this is the amazing object we have. Maybe with this long extension here we could render it with motion blur which would make it even more drastic. Need the whole thing here. <clears throat> For this rendering the view camera settings and resolution gate is good so we <clears throat> see the actual, actual resolution here. So let's render it again. It's actually quite funky. And now we go to the render settings, Arnold, motion blur, enable the motion blur, and render it again. So now we see how fast this object is moving in this simulation. And the little red dot here is our collision object. So it messed the whole, <laughs> the whole surface up. So I just wanted to tell you with this little side effect that sometimes you can create really interesting uh, objects from where you can go to other things. Maybe you see an eye here and it's a very abstract kind of bird here. Uh, you can do lots of things with it. And um, I show you the initial setting of this scene which looks so harmless. The problem I uh, created here uh, was uh, the following. I have a dynamic constraint here and that constraint constrains the this part of the red object to the cloth. So when the cloth falls down it wants to stay sort of close to this. It's, uh, like It works like a spring in dynamic simulation and uh, it tries to stay there. But um, we have um, another thing here which is in the attribute editor of the collision object which is stickiness. Stickiness by default is a zero. So um, it the, uh, the cloth normally relaxes on that collision object and then after some time falls off because it's not sticky at all. It's just like an oiled surface where it uh, leaves from. Uh, but I increase stickiness to a, a sort of 0 0.5 and uh, then this object feels sticky, sort of, and uh, this wants to stick to, an, uh, to a special part of the cloth, so it really gets confused, the whole system. Um, I hope Maya doesn't crash here. I just run the simulation. You see now the... Um, the spring operation starts, it attracts the, the cloth stronger on this side than on the other side where no string is working. And now you all already see there's a penetration problem here and if we keep this running it will get dramatic in just a few seconds. Now the cloth tries to fall off the surface and then the spring. <laughs> and then the, there's another interesting object actually here. Okay, I cannot navigate in there. You know, I can. Okay, how about rendering this? So let's introduce the sky dome again. Here it is. To render it again with motion blur, of course.
it does some anti-aliasing but uh, you would want to increase the anti-aliasing in the render settings of course in order to get rid of all the noise here again interesting that little red dot it's not an error in rendering <laughs> it's the collision object which was basically this the size of the cloth before but another beautiful rendering I think and uh, now let's switch off the motion blur and move a little bit further it's really huge oh it's even longer than this thing Jesus I'll cover the stickiness and uh, other parameters of cloth in other tutorials later on and I covered some in the past tutorials but uh, I, I wanted to share this with you because it maybe inspires you to create interesting objects from actually simulation errors